and welcome to the channel. Today we are here with Geno UK to have a look at this brand new Geno NC37. So start on the bathing platform. Nice teak all the way through. You can imagine there's a little pop-out ladder so you can get yourself on and off the swim platform. And what a lot of people forget when they design these swim platforms is how you get up the ladder. So there's a really nice grab handle and then two sunken grab handles in there as well so you can pull yourself up on board. Looks like we've got a decent sized little storage bin behind us here. Oh yeah, look at that, decent. So you can chuck your ropes, your fenders, mooring lines, shore power, all those bits and pieces you want to get out of the way in there. And then you can see over that side there's your shore power locker as well. Nice grab handle so you can get yourself, move yourself safely around the boat. And a decent size sea door to stop the kids, dogs, whatever, rolling out the sides. Decent side decks with nice gunnels on both sides. Looks like we've got ourselves a little storage locker out here for bits and pieces. And if I move over to the right hand side, you can see down here we have a decent fold out table. And I'm guessing that that sun lounger backrest also either pops forwards or backwards to give more space. And this is nice, the way that this whole thing, so you've got the door obviously folds out over the side, you can see over here. And then the window side panel there pops up out of the way. So you've got this whole open effect right the way through the boat. That leads you into a stepless platform into the saloon. Nice and bright, we've got a sunroof open here as well. I mean, yes, it's a nice day here, but Sometimes you can get a beautiful grotty day, but it's sunny and you can shut everything up and just sit in here and enjoy the warmth of the sun through the windows. So galley on the, on the starboard side. The cooker you can see down there. I'm guessing this pops up. And you should have for that. Nice stainless double burner gas hob and sink. Storage cupboards all the way down here. And I'm also guessing that this little box cushion here can slide round and give you an extra seat when dining. Nice you can see all TV over there. And then the other nice thing is, as I mentioned, the whole roof opens, but you've also got side ventilation through both of these windows so you can get a cross breeze through. Helm station on the starboard side with a nice side door, which leads straight out to the midship's cleat. So it makes it really easy for single-handed docking. Everything you'd expect at a helm station, all the navigation equipment, throttles, joystick controller, which is really nice, bow thruster, which is always a bonus, even on a twin engine boat, and a really, really good view forward through a massive single piece windscreen. Also looks like I would imagine that this seat mechanism here hinges forward, so you can have obviously not just the navigator or the skipper, but you can also have a couple of crew sitting, watching the journey forwards. Because of the openness of this whole forward moulding, it really does make the accommodations area down below light and bright, and obviously gives you tons of headroom. So we take a couple of steps down the steps into the lobby area. Forward first takes us to the, probably it's the master cabin on this boat, I would imagine, depending on how you want to work it. Decent sized double berth. Beautifully assisted, lots of storage room in there. And also, see these sliders here? This means you can actually increase the side of the double bed. So when you want more floor space, you can slide the bed back like so. But if you want a bigger bed, you can actually pull that out. There's a little infill cushion that goes in there and it just gives you a slightly larger bed. Lots of storage all the way around the sides here. Lots of ventilation from those two four hatches. And also that duck down, you can see hull windows as well on both sides. Nice locker in there. Vanity box in there, look. Little perch seat so you can get yourself dressed in the morning. So that's back into the lobby area. Over here on this side, we have the heads. So quite nice, separate sink and separate shower unit in there. Plenty of headroom, plenty of light. Over on the port side, we then have the heads, I would guess. 
figure. There you go, really. That's so neat when they do that. So somebody can be showering, somebody can be using the loo. There's a little wash basin over there. Decent mirror. Again, decent headroom. Duck down and we have the aft cabin, if you like. Decent sized bed. Again, this one can be two singles or it can be a double, as you can see quite here with the infill cushions. Plenty of illumination and natural light coming into those whole windows. Little cupboard as you'd expect down here. Decent sized berth. Headroom as you come in. And if we go over onto the starboard side, little cupboard in here. There's some drawer space, which is neat. Some switch gear for water levels, battery levels, that sort of thing, and the fusion stereo. And a tuck down in here. We have a little secret berth hidden away. Again, another double, decent size, going all the way back. And it looks like there's a little hatch under there to either give you ventilation or a bit of extra light at night, or perhaps a quick and easy way to chuck bits and pieces into the storage cupboard. So there you go. We'll have a quick wander around the decks and then we'll wrap it up. But not bad, three cabin boat. Lovely little side door here. Really safe and easy boat to walk around. Grab handles everywhere. There's the side access door, which you can see really easy access when you're single-handed skippering. One step up to the foredeck. Get a, an idea of the size and the scale of that sliding sunroof but even when it's shut it's glass so it's still going to give you lots and lots of light on board looks like there's some room here for some clipping cushions there are the two four hatches that we looked at in the fore cabin and then over here anchor handling gear and as you would probably get to know by now oh wrong way anchor locker decent nicely finished as well look at that and over there is your controller for the electric anchor winch Obviously that can also be controlled on the dash panel. But this has got what they call asymmetric decks. So the deck this side, as you can see, is a little bit wider. And the deck on this side is a little bit narrower. But that's primarily driven by the fact that obviously the helm station is on this side. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed that. Do please like, please subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time around. Thanks for watching.